Okie dokie. Welcome back to the big board. So let's take a look at Toten Sontag. Toten Sontag. The first battle for City Rezegi. Rezeg. Rezeg. I said this the other day just perfectly. I can't now. There it is. Now. So uh, this game is deceptively simple. It is six pages, including credits. So we've got to be careful. We have a lovely outline here. Let me just move this. Outline here of the initiative, activation, move, assault, overrun, artillery barrages, combined arms, uh, uh, tactics, all that sort of good stuff. Right? We've got it all going on here. Nice map. It's the desert. <clears throat> These are escarpments. Towns. Things with wings have uh, our airfields. A little bit garish, but it's all cool. The counters are interesting. The counters... Uh, and what I want to do here is uh, have a discussion about this game from the components and some of the early mechanics that I'm aware of first, and then have a little chat about how we might play the game in term, you know, tactically. So you can see here this little piece, right? 3, 10, and 5. So the 3 is the firepower or strength points. The 10 is the um, defensive value of the unit. And the 5 is its initiative value or and or its movement rate. And now I don't remember where that unit was. We'll work that out in a sec. Um, and uh, and so, that, so that's what those three factors are. And what's interesting is, is this. Initiative is the is a die roll, which you go, okay, well, that's fine. But this second number, this last number, the third number here, right, that five, that is also a precursor of when you're going to get to move or who will get to move in the turn. If I roll a 1, any unit with a 1 through 6 can activate in the turn. If I roll a 5, any unit with a 5 or greater can activate. So over here with these British chaps, uh, I think that's the British here, we would have all uh, these guys could activate in the turn and no one else could, basically, because they are 3s and 4s. Now... The guy that has the highest die roll gets to go first. So he has the advantage of going first. And then depending on what you roll in the turn, if you roll a five, sorry, for initiative, if you roll a five for initiative, you can add or subtract one to your next die roll. And if you roll six, you get to choose whatever number you want. So you might choose a one so that everybody gets to go or a three or whatever it is. Uh, whatever the lowest number you have is, there's twos over there for the Germans. So... There's some uh, nuance and choices there, depending on which units are where, where your enemy is, how many units they can move in a given turn, and all that sort of good stuff. So, the that exercise of rolling for initiative and going backwards and forwards is a, called a couplet. And that couplet will carry on until everyone's passed or moved or everyone's moved that's allowed to move and then the combat has gone on all the rest of it and then you will move to the next couplet couplet or impulse and you'll have four of those impulses in a turn and then a night turn so there's quite a lot there's, although there's, there's six turns there's actually 24 turns uh, for the game plus the night turns which allow you to do some recovery and other bits and pieces so there's a fair few things going on in the game, even at that very, very simple level. And everything that you read, you go, oh, okay, that's pretty straightforward. I get it. And then you put all the pieces on the board and you look at it and go, hmm, who would I want to move first? How many would I want to move first? And where would I want them to go? So if we look at the objectives of this particular battle, uh, the, the British want to get units off headed towards Tobruk to relieve Tobruk. This is a combat situation where the British have snuck around the flank and they're trying to relieve the Tobruk garrison. 
And so capturing these towns is critical. That guy over there. Uh, particularly these two. And exiting units off the map and shattering divisions. All those things matter. Now, if you look at this terrain, it's really very sparse. It's a bit of a passageway through here. Uh, you've got Italian forces down here. Germans are raided around here. And wherever this guy goes, I think he was over here. Where was he? He's a recon unit. No, he went somewhere special. i got to remember where he was. I think he was here. Um, British. See, African. And we've got some Kiwis here somewhere as well. Wherever the Kiwis are. Oh, the blue guys are the Kiwis. So, very, very challenging. And the combat system, I'm not really sure how it's going to hang together yet. But I'm very curious about it. So, anyway, we've done six minutes of this. And uh, I'm going to come back. Or am I going to do it now? I'm going to come back. We'll talk about combat and about the plan, uh, the combat plan and the tactical plan for each side as we uh, progress into the game. All right, we'll have a look at it before we start turn one, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, later.